Beulah Tahamont lived during a time when the indigenous peoples of North America were under intense pressure due to European colonization and expansion. Born into a context of resistance and cultural preservation, she belonged to the Abenaki and Oneida tribes, known for their rich traditions and cultural heritage. Her name appears in historical records around 1907, a period marked by significant challenges for various indigenous nations, each struggling to maintain their identity and way of life in the face of growing external threats. In the early 20th century during the bustling gold rush, Valdez, a strategic port on the Gulf of Alaska, was a scene of intense activity. It was in this vibrant context that in 1907, a special moment was immortalized by the lenses of the local photography studio. The captured image portrayed the daughter of Chief Nikolai, belonging to the Atna tribe, one of the several indigenous nations of Alaska. In 1909, a photographer captured images of members of the Crow tribe in Montana, specifically at the Crow Agency. This area is known for its deep connection to the traditions and cultural heritage of the tribe, representing one of the many indigenous nations of the United States. The Crow Agency served as a crucial meeting and coordination point between tribal leaders and the American government. In 1920 in Lawton, Oklahoma, a special moment was immortalized by the lens of photographer Bates. He photographed a Comanche mother and her son, capturing the essence of one of the most emblematic tribes of the American Southwest, known for their rich history and culture. In 1958, Joyce McDougall, a native of the Blackfoot tribe, had her photo captured in the Brockett community, located within the Pagan Reserve in southern Alberta, Canada. The Blackfoot tribe is recognized as one of the main indigenous communities of the Canadian Plains, and the Pagan Reserve is one of the localities established to honor and preserve the rich history and cultural legacy of this group in the area. In 1923, a photo taken in Havre, Montana, captured a special moment in the life of Jim Denny and his family, members of the Cree tribe. In the image, Jim poses alongside his wife Maggie, daughter of Little Bear and their two children, William and Florence. The Cree are part of the diverse indigenous nations present in North America. In 1908, an impressive photograph captured under the title, Near the End of a Noble Life, documented the last years of Chief Louisan, a respected figure of the Flathead tribe, also referred to by the name Salish. This indigenous group possesses a rich tradition and a significant legacy in the Northwest of the United States. At the beginning of the 20th century, a photographer captured a unique moment in Montana, where members of the Flathead tribe meticulously prepared for one of their ritual dances. This tribe, known for its rich cultural heritage, keeps alive practices that are passed down from generation to generation, especially their sacred dances. In 1925, a significant event occurred at the Blackfeet Reservation in Montana, capturing a moment of cultural transformation. Mary Henry Gunn, Mrs. Alec Gardapi, and Mrs. Jane, all members of the Blackfeet Pakuni tribe, were photographed while diving into reading studies. This image not only documents their personal commitment to learning, but also reflects a period of significant adaptation and resilience of the tribe. In 1904, during the Louisiana Purchase Exposition in St. Louis, Missouri, a notable figure was present, Bell Johnson. Originating from the Blackfeet Reservation in Montana, Bell had a mixed heritage, being part of the Pikuni Blackfeet tribe and part Swedish. Her participation in the event highlighted the fusion of different cultures and underscored the vital role of indigenous representation on large national stages. In the early 20th century in Montana, an emblematic photo captured an intimate moment in the life of Chief Rocky Boy of the Cree tribe, posing alongside his family. This Cree leader was highly respected, and the photograph provides a window to understand the family dynamics, daily life, and leadership structure of the Cree society at that time. In 1890, the image of Eddie Gray, heir to White Elk and member of the Northern Cheyenne tribe, was captured. 
This tribe, one of the most influential among the indigenous nations of North America, has a rich history and culture that have been fundamental to the development of that region over time. In 1883, the image of Two Moon, an influential leader of the Crow tribe, was immortalized in photography. Known in their native language as Absaluk, the Crow are an indigenous people with a significant presence in the northwest of the United States. Their culture is rich in traditions and stories passed through generations, marked by their deep spiritual practices, exceptional horsemanship and crafts, elements that still strongly define the community's identity today. In 1926, Miss Jessie Jim, a representative from the Chilin tribe, was photographed on the terrace of the Davenport Hotel in Spokane, Washington. The Chilin are one of the native indigenous communities from the American Northwest, known for their rich cultural heritage and deep connection to the land. Around 1925, the image of Lushanya, also known by the names Songbird and Tessie Mobley, was captured. With both Euro-American and Chickasaw ancestry, she stood out in a culturally rich context. The Chickasaw, one of the groups from the five civilized tribes, originate from the southeastern United States and are known for their deep cultural and historical heritage. In the year 1880, a hunter from the Crow tribe was photographed in Montana, highlighting the tribe's intrinsic relationship with nature. For the Crow, hunting was more than just survival. It reflected deep aspects of their culture and spirituality. This practice not only sustained the tribe physically, but also reinforced their spiritual and cultural bonds with the Montana environment. In 1904, in Taos, Pueblo, New Mexico, a local artisan specializing in arrow making was captured in a photograph. Taos Pueblo is recognized as one of the oldest and continuously inhabited Native American communities in the country, famous for its rich cultural traditions that have been maintained over the centuries. At the beginning of the last century in Montana, an image captured a special moment among members of the Crow tribe. The photograph reveals the deep connection among these people united by familial, social, and cultural bonds. This photograph provides an authentic glimpse into the daily life and traditions of the Crow community during that era. In 1926, a memorable image of Alice Gary was captured, a resident of the Coeur d'Alene Reservation in northwestern Idaho. Alice descended from Ignace Hayden Gary and Suzette Josephine Reve, figures from a group with deep roots and rich traditions. These traditions, passed down from generation to generation, help tell the vibrant story of the Idaho tribe. In 1916, a remarkable photograph was taken of Pohei, who also went by the name of Margaret Fisher in Comanche County, Oklahoma. Born in 1895, Margaret symbolized the union of German-American and Comanche cultures. Her father, a German prisoner adopted by the Comanche tribe after being captured, marked her distinct origin and the convergence of two very different cultures. At the beginning of the 20th century, Walter McClintock captured a unique moment in Montana, a Blackfeet tribe campsite with the serene presence of horses in the background. The scene was recorded on a glass lantern slide, a popular photographic display technique of the time. In 1879, a significant event took place at the Rosebud Agency, where key figures from the Sioux tribe gathered to discuss vital issues. Among the leaders present were Black Crow, known for his wisdom, Two Strike, famed for his bravery in battles, White Thunder, a keeper of traditions, Spotted Tail, a skilled negotiator, and Iron Wing, recognized for his strong leadership. Situated in the Carrizo Mountains near Camp Apache in Arizona, the Apache Sibiquiu Group takes us back to 1873. It was a time of recurrent tensions between the Apaches and the U.S. government. Camp Apache played a crucial role in the historical events of the American Southwest, marking a period of challenges and confrontations. Helen, also known by her tribal name Goes Ahead Hogan, was immortalized in a photograph shortly before her death in 1925. A member of the Crow tribe, she lived on the Crow Reservation located in southern Montana. 
This image captures not only a precious moment of her life, but also emphasizes the importance of preserving these stories and memories for future generations. In 1906, a remarkable image was captured on the Crow Reservation in southern Montana, featuring Hannah Morrison. Born in 1882, Hannah represented the unique union of distinct worlds. Her father, Alva James Morrison, was a white man, and her mother belonged to the Crow tribe. The photo became a powerful symbol of this cultural blend. 